we're still doing community frequency and uh, that is obvious because whenever you see a graph like this yeah, you already know without even reading the question it's community frequency yeah, because there's always some sort of S or wave if you like but if you have a closer look indeed community frequency and this is a mass in kilograms apparently and what did I say well you can expect a question like this and you'll get questions then about median quartiles and the interquartile range okay so we're gonna try a question together now uh, hopefully you've seen my previous videos uh, because then you'll be well prepared to answer this yeah so what does it say so my apologies for my handwriting it says the mass of 200 bricks were weighed yeah use the community frequency graph to find okay so I have to use this graph and they tell me that 200 bricks were weighed let me have a quick look indeed the community frequency the maximum amount is 200 okay and I have to find the median I expected that I have to find the interquartile range that is not uh, a big surprise I expected that and then I have to find how many bricks weigh seven kilograms or more all right now that's a little bit of an addition to what we've done so far but you will be doing fine with that as well let's start with the median median and mid value please I've seen my previous videos how many values do I have I have 200 so what is the mid value what is the middle of 200 that is 100 fantastic so with your extremely sharp pencil, and I have to use a thick marker, so that is not ideal, but okay, otherwise you can't see it. But you with your sharp pencil, you go straight yeah, to the graph, and then you go down, because this is an accurate job. Yeah, take some pride, take some satisfaction out of your work. There we go, and uh, it is there. So what is the median? Let me write that here, the median equals now i've got to take some care there because the skill yeah, it is one two three four blocks is one so each block is a quarter okay so two blocks is a half so 5.5 or five and a half kilograms okay so make sure you always take care when you look at uh, the skill okay in this case four blocks is one so that each block is a quarter, 0.25. Now, that was the median, and then they asked me the interquartile range, yeah? Inter, meaning in between, and the quartiles, I said, yeah, quartiles, the quarters, yeah? you have what we call the lower quartile, and we have the upper quartile. And this is not a surprise, you get questions about it, so you might as well uh, be ready for them, the lower quartile quartile quarter what is a quarter of 200 that is 50 let me take a different color let me try uh, try some some blue uh, uh, sharp enough so a quarter this is the lower quartile and if I go to my graph there and then I go down there we go then for me with my thick marker the lower quartile let me say lower quartile is 4.5 okay and then I also have to find the upper quartile and the lower quartile median and then the upper quartile is at three quarters of the amount of value so three quarters of 200 yeah so whatever amount of values you have divide by four times three to get the upper quartile let's go down okay and that will be upper quartile and always be careful with the skill but for me that is going to be 6.5 so what is the interquartile range yeah, range being the highest value take away the lowest value so the upper quartile take away the lower quartile the interquartile range how much is that guys is two fantastic all right now i expected those questions you will get them man. you will get them so it's not a surprise it's really nice that they give it to you huh? Okay, thank you very much for that, Mr. Examiner. Continue. How many bricks weigh 7 kilos or more? Hmm, interesting. How many bricks weigh 7 kilos or more? Now, where is 7 kilos? I'm going to do that with some red. 7 kilos is here. So let me have a look. Let's go to the graph. Let's see what is going on with those 7 kilos. Yeah, and you have to do this really accurately. Yeah, I keep saying it, I know. Sorry. I'm repeating myself, but I only do that because it's important. Okay, so how many bricks is that? 
So 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, yes, 170. Okay, but now be careful. This is cumulative frequency. So 170 bricks weigh seven kilos and less. Okay, so if they ask me how many bricks weigh seven kilos less uh, or less, yeah, I would say, well, 170, yeah, because seven kilos, uh, 170. But now they ask me how many bricks weigh seven kilos or more, yeah, so I'm actually really looking at the top values, yeah, the heaviest bricks, yeah, so only these values. So how many bricks is that or are that? That will be then 200, the total amount of bricks. Take away the 170, so the answer will be 30 bricks. There we go. Explainingmaths.com, yeah, send me a question if you have any, I'll help you. Yeah. Actually, I'm doing this for one of your friends who asked me about community frequency. Facebook, find me there, Explaining Maths, uh, Twitter, all sorts of ways to get into touch with me, and I'll help you. Don't worry about it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.